Snake Man here, and we have a perfect snake and a perfect cage. Let's try again. This snake here, tiger snake. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Gucci, Gucci. Anyway, let's show you the cage. We'll take the lid off. This guy, devenomized, wrist free, all the usual rubbish. If it bites, we don't care. Look at that, immaculate. Look at that, immaculate, happy, content. Look, I can put my hand on him. Doesn't care. Bit cool, actually. Anyway, the water bowl, non spillable. Made to our form. There's a bit of skin that we haven't taken off. A bit feral. I would normally wash it off, but we have had a very traumatic few months and I've let things go a little bit. So, not things aren't quite as squeaky, squeaky clean and good as they normally are, but the snake's alive and well and healthy. It probably doesn't care less. Anyway, notice the house, the hide. It's white. That's why if there's any poo or anything on it, we can clean it. We can see it. This guy, about 14, 12, 13, 14. It is an old snake. Looks okay in the video, they look better in camera than they do in the flesh, but it is an oldie. He is old. He's had a very checkered past. I'd like to say that he's had a perfect existence. He's far from it. He's had a dose of Weigel's Curse, a Rio virus that takes out a lot of snakes in collections. Hit big time in Australia around 2002, 2003, 2004, that sort of period. This guy got very sick and I really did not expect him to live. He did. He's had a few infections, basically in terms of old age and uh, I must say he's on borrowed time, he is an old snake. Anyway, what we'll do, we will pluck it out, a bit of food. Health wise he's perfect, he's just like an 80 year old pensioner. I mean, he's just old. Here we go, eat it please. Now, there we go, problem is doesn't, oh, there you got it. They don't actually speak English, so I'm wasting my time talking to them, but they are lovely. Now, look, tiger snakes are magnificent animals. Just looking there, there's a bit of a mark. Uh, probably an injury caused by the Department of Sustainability in an armed raid they did in August. Three of our snakes, they broke their backs and killed them. Three of our tiger snakes, and this one uh, probably caught that as an injury. There's a definite, definite uh, indentation there, and that snake definitely didn't have it beforehand. Anyway, look, they broke backs and bones of a lot of our snakes. This is a wildlife department meant to be looking after our animals, and it is really, really tragic. I mean, our, nicest, our two nicest tiger snakes were killed by them, and I have no doubt it was deliberate because these are the ones that we use most of the times in our shows. Even like a week earlier, we were on television with with one of the snakes that they killed and um, it is quite insane that these guys can be so hateful and come into your house with guns in an armed raid and come and just kill your snakes that you've raised from birth from birth and you've had them for eight nine years longer in some cases it is absolutely scandalous and the worst thing is because they're the government you've got no recourse whatsoever scandalous indeed anyway look Snake busters are the only people that are safe with reptiles. We take safety seriously. That's why we have the expertise and the time and the effort to make sure that all of our deadly snakes, such as this one, that travel to schools and children's parties and other venues where we do our educational shows, are risk-free. It's not like it's not it's not worth. It's it's like look, you can have your big big safety barriers and stuff, and we have them by law. But it's like Fukushima nuclear reactor. If something happens and the poison gets out, you're stuffed. So we've simply removed the poison, so there is no risk of any fatal accident. We had a case recently in New South Wales where a dangerous snake was stolen from a building that is normally kept locked. The guy just picked the lock and went in, stole the snake, got bitten, nearly died, ended up suing the zoo. And major ramifications. Cut a long story short, that won't happen with us because if someone wants to break in and steal that snake and stick it on a baby's head and make him bite the baby's head, You'd wipe it off and say sorry. This guy is totally not the harmless. It's bit me enough times to prove the point. We don't generally make videos of us taking bites from snakes because we probably taste horrible. But we do make the videos to prove the point that a snake that is devenomized is permanently devenomized. Don't believe the lies from our imitators and their mates in the government wildlife department. Only snake busters give accurate information on devenomized snakes because only snake busters have the expertise to have performed the operation in this country.